I'm a planet hunter. I'm a co-investigator for NASA's Kepler mission, whose objective is to find Earth-sized planets orbiting other stars in our galaxy. I came here as an expert in stellar astronomy, so understanding the stars themselves. So one of my first jobs here was to pick of the millions of stars that, we, that our telescope is going to see, which are the 150,000 that we're actually going to observe. When I entered college, I was planning on being a business major, so it's very far from science. And yet I was always good at math, so that was kind of in the back of my mind. And one day in college, I kind of asked myself out of the blue the question, you know, if you could do anything, what would it be? And I decided at that moment I would work for NASA, the space program. I just enrolled in a physics class, uh, applied for an internship that was key to my professional development, and everything else just kind of fell into place. You know when it's right. When we're young, we don't really know what all the possibilities are. So when you're young and you're growing, I think you just want to be sure you're trying new things. And you want to pay attention to the things that inspire you. Uh, pay attention to that and follow that path and, and ask yourself the question, you know, if you could do anything, what would it be? And that's really actually easy to figure out. The answer is going to come to you immediately. And when it does, you take a baby step in that direction. And don't focus so much on the goal itself. Just enjoy the ride, you know, just take the journey and see where it leads you. I could not have chosen a career that didn't have meaning to me. And the Kepler mission is just about as meaningful as it gets. I mean, we're looking for new worlds in our galaxy, places that are potentially habitable. More than that, we're, we're trying to figure out if Earth-like planets are even common in our galaxy so that when we look up in the sky, we can say, you know, that we're not alone. That's extremely profound, and that's what drew me here.